What up guys, good morning, good morning, how's it going, what's happening? As you can see, I'm about to go out on my bike again, but not all day like yesterday. I'm just going for a little ride with Jordan. This is probably going to be my last ride before we go off to Canada. And um, some of you guys have been complaining in the comments that you're getting a bit bored with what's happening in the vlogs recently. Well, all I can say to that is I've been loving having a little bit of routine in my life. Um, basically, I used to go training twice a day, every day. and. It's nice to just do consistent sport for a little bit and see improvements again and just be in that kind of healthy routine. But all that's going to go out the window um, on Wednesday when me and Steve are flying to Canada and I probably won't be getting back into any kind of routine probably until late September. Um, so I'm enjoying it while it's happening but yeah I'm super excited to uh, like shake things up a little bit and get on a flight and go somewhere. But for now I'm going to enjoy the sunshine because it's a beautiful day and I'm going to miss my bike when I go away. It's the world's laziest dog. What you doing man? What you doing Mr. Waggy? Make it lovely to be on me these words are on me. Such a beautiful day. Oh, it's got a little face in it. Bless. That's very cute, Josh. Very cute. <laughs> I've gone pretty continental with breakfast this morning. Le croissant. All right, should we do this? Mr. Jordan's got a mechanical. <laughs> Which is much needed at this stage. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. <laughs> That's a sweaty climb, wasn't it? It's a beautiful day though. Where are we? Uh, somewhere in uh, Belarus, I think. It feels like I've cycled to Belarus. We've had to stop again. In the kayaking world, we call this rudder problems. Shush. Now, rudder problems is an interesting thing because rudder problems doesn't actually specifically mean like a mechanical issue. It's generally a psychological issue where the participant in the kayak decides that he's got a rudder problem so that he can stop the race, maybe because the race isn't going so well for him. Just to clarify, Jordan doesn't actually have rudder problems because <laughs> we're not racing, he does actually have a mechanical issue. Anybody need a toilet? We have made a little pit stop at a bike shop called Head for the Hills. I'm not sure where we are exactly, but um, it's a beautiful little village. Start at the bottom now here. <laughs> that's, my, that's what I say when I get to the top. Look at that cool cottage. Oh, we made it, we made it. Eww. How far did we go? Uh, three, four miles. Three or four hundred miles. I am broken and it feels fantastic. I've got a, uh... Cheers. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is saving my life. Cheers, Cheers man. Oh, you've been making friends. Did he have a good walk? He's, yeah, and he just played with all the dogs in the park. He loved <laughs> Absolutely loved it. He looks shattered. What's he's happening, boy? Shame. Your ears inside out. Come here. Mirror vlogging. What are you saying about the mirror vlogging? Um, I'm heading out to go and get some dinner. Vlog is up. Go and check it out. Me and Finn cycling. Okay, bye. Not a super exciting day today. 
Sorry, guys. Red milk for mum because she likes skinny, skinny milk. And gotta get some green milk. Big green milk for dad because he likes it big and green. Also, organic guys, do not, I repeat, do not go anything other than organic with milk. What they do to the cows that don't have the organic treatment is just ridiculous. I'm not going to go into great detail, just trust me, it's not much more expensive, do yourself a favour. I don't actually drink milk, apart from unless it's in tea or coffee. Um, I like to go for this stuff, almond milk, don't go for soya, that's not a good option. It's just super, super processed. Um, yeah. A um, little cookery lesson vibe tonight. We're going to do some very, very basic chicken. And we're going to fry that up and we're going to have it on top of, where we go, some of this Italian tortellini, which is super easy to cook. We chop the chicken into little strips and then we're just going to heat that up with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, chicken is cooked, and now I'm just boiling a kettle. Click. That's good timing. Which I'm going to pour over these, and for three minutes, do not overcook these. No more than three minutes is needed. And your time is up. And you drain these guys. Be careful of the steam, because it's burny. Sauce into the pan. Pan on low heat. Hello. And chuck these guys, once they've finished draining, back into the sauce. And they'll get covered in sauce. Give them a good stir. Just literally just so it heats up the sauce and wash them in with the chicken. Right, this is mine, Dad. Um, you can make yours. All the ingredients are there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Ta-da! Add your favourite vegetables, preferably raw, because it's better for you. Samantha made a brief visit. Bye bye. See you later, though. Bye bye, my dog. And yeah. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Um, lots of you guys have been asking me to explain. Hang on, let me turn this on now. Lots of you guys have been asking me to explain my GoPro situation and why I haven't been attaching it to my bike. Basically, I just haven't got around to sorting a handlebar thingy out because I'm going away like in two days. But I'm using the Hero 3 Plus, which I'm loving. Battery life is much better actually. And I've been shooting it on 1080p at 60 frames per second with ProTune settings on, which is like higher file sizes. But what that does is the image comes out flat and it's like desaturated, desharpened, unsharpened. Um, and what you then do is when you bring it back up in your colour correction and grading afterwards on the computer, it is much nicer. That's my interesting fact of the day for GoPro users out there. A lot of you people are enjoying Jordan's little vlog takeover from yesterday as well. He's really good at vlogging. I'm watching Shaytards and I just realised that in Louis's vlog he announced that Josh Record his album has just come out and so I've just bought it he's amazing just go and check it out click on this little thing down here it says preview all you can listen to all, like 30 seconds of all of the songs or something I will put the link in the description guys look SP is phoning me here we go SP 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 what's happening 
Yeah, I'm good, man. What's happening? Um, so, okay, my exciting news. Go for it. Exciting news. Tell you. Give it to me. Um, I'm kind of a little bit coming to England. No way. When? Yeah. Um, I'm planning on leaving before the end of July. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to be working in Leeds. That's really far from me. I... <laughs> <laughs> it's less far than Cape Town though, so that's good news. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready for your close up? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, me and SP have had a good little catch up, and hopefully, we're going to see each other soon. Um, but yeah, I will catch you later, my brother. Thanks for FaceTiming me. This is better than Skype, I think. Man, I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, are you saying hey to everybody? Yeah, I'm saying hey to everybody. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, some of the brownies in the comments have been, when are you going to get back to Cape Town and see SP? Soon. Cool, that was an awesome little catch up with SP. He's actually coming to the UK um, to do some work and have like a post-university travel vibe, I don't know. Um, earn some pounds, I think, is what he wants to do. Um, but yeah, it's been a fun day, it's been a chilled day. Um, tomorrow I will mostly be packing for Canada. Um, so yeah, I will check you guys tomorrow. Remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. Okay, love you, bye. Cheers. Good. Yeah? Good morning. Finn is fresh as a daisy. I think I'm faster than Ben. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've woken up the challenge now. You've woken up the athlete in me. 